Hey everyone, welcome. This is the 14th edition of Variku Wednesdays. I intend to keep it short, so let's get straight into it. I distinctly remember the first time I saw the movie The Dark Knight, which, uh, which was the second in the Batman trilogy, and I fell in love with it. I completely fell in love with it because almost everything was perfect. The script was so powerful, the music was so amazing, the characters were so well built, the Joker, the Batman, their conversations, their emotions, the ending, everything was just mesmerizing. I just looked at that movie, I was like, oh my God, this has got to be the best movie ever made. And I fell in love with it so much that I started watching it twice, twice, four times, five times. But it also became then evident that by the time I'd reached the sixth or the seventh time of that movie, I had begun to see flaws or mistakes in the movie. There were clearly some scenes where there was overacting. There were clearly some scenes where the emotions were not as strong. Some scenes where the music was jarring or loud and some where it just wasn't powerful enough. The script was loose at times. The, the editing was not great at times. It was just overall this realization that this movie was not as perfect as I thought it to be. And that honestly was a very disappointing realization because I would have loved to stick with that excitement, that love, that gratitude, that freshness that I felt when I first saw it. But now that I had seen it so many times, I felt as if I was falling out of love with the movie. But mind you, the movie had not changed. The movie was exactly the way it was the first time I saw it and the seventh time I saw it. It was just what I was feeling about it that had completely changed. I was feeling a lot lesser about the movie than I was in the beginning. And it almost seems like a law of physics to me, right? Because if you spend enough time, everything will have faults. Because everything is not flawless. Everything is not perfect. And if you spend enough time, Everything will have mistakes. The question then is, is that the best use of your time? Is that where you should be spending your time? Because what if artificially, what if you could train your mind to not think of what you feel when you've spent enough time in something, but what you feel when you first encountered it? The first emotion that you felt, that level of excitement, freshness, gratitude, everything that you felt the first time you encountered something awesome, can you hold on to that and continue with it. Because if you can, you can imagine how different your experience and your life will turn out to be. Something as simple as when I used Uber for the first time, it felt like magic. Because here I was standing, I pressed a button, a car showed up exactly where I was, I stepped in, didn't have to have a conversation, the driver knew exactly where I had to go, he dropped me, I got out, and the job's done. It's like, oh my God, magic. But now, it's like, oh, driver hasn't showed up, car smelling, oh, they're surge pricing, oh, why this, oh, why that? It's almost as if I've let go of the gratitude that before Uber, my life was just shit. Because there was no way that I could navigate through the city roads as easily as I do today. But I somehow, I'm not grateful for that anymore. I'm complaining about stupid things. And is there a way? Is there a way for me to ignore these small things? Is there a way for me to think about how I felt the first time because that experience was far better than anything that I had ever imagined? And if you can hold on to that, somehow, your life will be remarkably different from what it is today. It goes for relationships, it goes for work, it goes for how you think about your own self, it goes for everything. Because life on a daily basis will get you settled, will get you to feel that this is a habit but you just have to step back and say, when I felt this for the first time, when I met that person for the first time, when I walked into this office for the first time, when I encountered praise or appreciation from my boss for the first time, when I discovered this new side of me for the first time, I felt something strong. And can I hold on to that? Because if I can hold on to that, I will never have the reason to complain again, specifically about smaller things that happen. If you spend enough time Everything will have faults, but is that the best use of your time? 
I'll leave you with that thought and I'll see you next week. Bye.